So today I'm gonna uh, do a tutorial, a quick tutorial, give you more, just a walkthrough of how I synchronize footage um, that is multi-frame rate. So a lot of times in weddings we'll have footage that is filmed in 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and 60 frames per second. Uh, I am gonna be taking a slightly easier project, so it'd be a little bit faster to show, but it's a lot easier to, uh, so it'd be a little bit easier to follow, but it obviously applies on a lot more complicated projects. So um, the trick here is, is not to use the latest Final Cut and not to use the latest uh, Pluralize. I have tried this in Pluralize 4, uh, I just get unsynchronized Synchronized, uh, unsynchronized footage left and right and it's really hard to fix because you have no idea what's going on. So um, my solution is to use Pluralize 3.5 and Final Cut um, 10.3.4 I believe. Uh, the latest version of Final Cut 10.3 because Pluralize 3.5 is you know, only compatible with that. I'm hoping Pluralize is gonna fix some of these issues. I've actually sent them in some support, but as of right now, um, their response was they don't support Pluralize 3.5, and they don't support the older Final Cut, so they don't care anymore. But they're not really fixing in a new newer Pluralize, they're not really fixing some of the issues that I'm running into. So, uh, I'm gonna be stuck with Pluralize 3.5 for the time being. So, let's start. Um, first thing I do is I try to find, um, uh, we, our projects are in 24 frames per second, so 23.96 and I will try to drag a camera that is on that frame rate. I have gone and I've marked um, all the footage that is in uh, uh, all the footage that is in uh, 24 so we're gonna go ahead and just start dragging into pluralize and I'll, I'll show you how that applies with footage that is in like 30 or 60 because I, I separate it into two categories 24 and 48 30 and 60 those are the two different projects that I'll be creating so let's go ahead and drag it in there uh, this is also in 24 and if you are gonna get a like a warning that it's multi different frame rate, I will go ahead and pull it out. The reason we do that is because it will become unsynchronized by a few frames here and there, and that's exactly what I want to do. So, I actually have only seven shots from this event that was in 60p, and the reason I did it is I possibly was gonna slow it down, and then I was like, okay, well, I got into speeches, I don't want to have 60p, I wanna just have 24. So, I'm only gonna go down and sync only the 24 footage. So, my first run and pluralize will be 24 frames per second. Um, and camera P, it was only doing uh, 60. So. So uh, we are starting to mix in 5D Mark III's and 5D Mark IV's and they obviously have the possibility of doing 60 frames and that's kind of the issue that we're running into. Um, Alright, let's do audio. So this is one audio track. Audio is not really a problem. Alright, so let's go ahead and press synchronize. This is a familiar for everyone. Actually, I made a mistake. I don't like doing co correct audio drift. So I'm actually going to go ahead and redo it. Sorry, guys. The reason I turned off audio drift is simply because I know all my um, audios are set to the same bit rate and stuff like that, so um, it's not audio drift, and I don't want it to try to do audio drift. Uh, without audio drift, I get perfect sync, so that's not the problem. The problem is uh, frame rates, so I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, again, the frame rates here are all 24 frames. Alright, so it's a perfect sync. Um, let's go ahead and save it and we'll go ahead and export it. Export timeline. I'm going to create a, uh, a multi cam. And we'll go ahead and export. 
Next step is actually very important as well. Um, you want to make sure that you open up Final Cut 10.34. Um, I have a previous project in 10.34. I did not update it, so I'm actually going to be using that. But if you're doing this, you know, for a smaller project and you have not created anything, create a new 10.3, you know, project. So let's go in here. Let's go ahead and import XML. Uh, let's go bring it up. Sangeet. There it is. Enter. And here I'm not going to do anything. Let it start doing that. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, figure this out. So I'm actually going to take um, some of the longer audios um, just because it's a little bit easier. Um, yeah, I'll take the longer audio. Let's see if I need to make sure it's the first audio. So I can't have. Okay, they're both on the zoom, so they're giving me the same. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and take this zoom. The same audio there. And luckily, we have only you know five shots here, so it's going to be rather quick to do in 5994. But a lot of times, I have cameras, you know, like we'll switch over to like 60 frames for like the first dance, we'll switch over to uh, you know 60 frames for like the bride walking into the ceremony. That way, we have a little bit of more of that action. But obviously, for like the vows, we want 24 frames, so it's a little bit of like you gotta make it work. But it definitely at the end, you have a lot more room for errors, but you also have more room to make things beautiful. Let's go ahead and synchronize. All right, this is done. Uh, I usually save it as the same project, and I just add the word 30, because this is an increment of 30, even though we're doing 60. This is an increment of 30, even though we're doing 60. Um, okay, we're not going to create an event in Multicam. We don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click that choose it's important xmls alrighty now this is kind of where it gets crazy um, so uh, everything's fine I open up this project everything's fine I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this bottom uh, that's just usually one of the first things now I'm gonna go into the uh, 30 frames I'm gonna get a pen and pen, uh, pen ready. and I'm literally gonna pick these up but I know that the audio is the same and I'm gonna turn on snapping and I'm gonna pick these up, and I wanna make sure it stays at the same time. 109, 50, 58, perfect. And I'm gonna write that number down. So I'm actually gonna go in, and I'm gonna write camera N, uh, 6934, 6934 at 109, 50, 58. I'm gonna copy the secondary storyline, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it onto this project at that time. So let's go ahead and just type it in, 109, 50, 58, and command V. That's what I pressed, and you can see that it pasted. Now, I need to check if the time is perfect. So keep in mind it was 24 to 30. So 109, 52, okay, something's wrong. Let's do that again. 109, 50, 58. Uh, okay, so that makes sense. So 50 58 is a problem, and that's something that again I will look at because 58 out of 60 frames per second is pretty much the end of that second. So if you think about it, it's 109 50 23. That's very confusing, but we kind of have to take percentages. So 58 out of 60 is about, you know, 95% of the second. So we kind of have to look at the same thing. 95% of the second off of 24 frames. It's probably 23 frames. So I'm going to paste it off of there. And let's see. Obviously, I know her since before she was born. Perfect. So the sync sounds perfect. And I mean, we have all the cameras on and we have all the audio on. The sync is perfect. Um, so that's good. Um, and so obviously here's the grand entrance and that is why I was filming 60 frames. Um, now the next step is we need to paste this into the multicam because we actually want to multicam this. We're going to be editing a long edit of this. There's a, like a program. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually write down the first 24 frames per second shot with the same camera. So I'm going to actually go ahead and drag this camera down. I'm going to press shift to make sure that it is not to do that. And let's go ahead and write that time down. So N, 
1840 and you'll see why so we're gonna go ahead and paste copy this and we're gonna go into the multicam and we're gonna go to the same time so let's hit camera n we're gonna go to the same time as the first shot 10950 and we changed it to 23 not 58 we're gonna press enter we're gonna paste it now the weird thing is is that if we look at this shot it was 1-18-42-03, but all of a sudden, this is 05. It shifted two frames to the right. So let's go ahead and do that, and let's just, I'm going to prove it to you again, that it does shift, that multicam does shift. Um, I don't know if this is a bug in Final Cut, or this is, yeah, so here it is, 03, right? 1-18-42-03, but if we go into our time, 1095023 and we press paste this shifts two frames to the right and you can see that again it finishes at 05 which is really stupid this is a problem and especially when you have like multiple times that you've switched over to 23 frames per second or, to, or you know to 60 frames per second you're actually going to get multiple shifts every single time that you paste in between the remainder sec uh, section shifts more so be very careful when you have multiple sections like this where it's going to shift so i need to shift two frames to the left just done that okay we're pretty much done with this. Now the only thing left to do is to open this project. Uh, I'll go ahead and drag the multicam. And I'll place it into the storyboard. And one last thing that I'll do is I will actually go ahead and check the multicam with cameras. So I'll go right here and let's see. Okay, camera end starts and camera end appears right there. Perfect. Um, that's pretty much what I want to double check that and I'll just do some random checks to make sure that nothing got shifted on camera end. So same thing, perfect. Um, I'm pretty much checking this cut and does it appear. So let's go back one more frame, perfect. One frame forward, perfect. So everything's great. Um, next thing to do is I like to lift mine from the second storylines because um, for some reason when you cut and you start moving things around because the whole frame, sh uh, different frame rates, things do get moved around when you copy and paste. So the trick here is not to do everything at once. I know some of you would be like, oh, we just do everything at once. The trick is not to do that. I'm actually gonna do one row at a time and I'm also gonna do one frame rate at a time so camera n i'm actually not going to just take it i'm actually going to only do that pick it up and pick it that up now what happens it actually uh, you know ties to the um, primary storyline and it's a little bit more accurate with timing uh, i would use a little bit more housekeeping with multicam i do this with multicam simply because it allows us for a little bit more some people are probably gonna be like what the heck are you doing but this gives me a little bit more control over certain shots um if you need to stabilize because multicam has a flaw that you cannot stabilize and you can't do certain effects like that so i actually do this and these shots are kind of kept in we sometimes film like people shots that are a little bit shaky so we want to have that opportunity to be able to fix those shots so pretty much that's how you do the multi frame rate workflow in Final Cut, Final Cut uh, and Pluralize 3.5. Again, I did not use Pluralize 4 for a reason and I did not use uh, Final Cut 10.4 for a reason. Um, now what I'm ready to do is I'm actually ready to um, merge the two um, events. I'm going to add a keyword. I'm going to add the keywords. Come on. Why is it not doing that? There we go. Zero four event. And I'm gonna delete this 30 frames per second. It's not needed. And the multicam will be merged into there as well. Let's go ahead and merge that. And also we will go ahead and once that's done, I will also add the, the other files that we've organized. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these files. I don't need them anymore. I even delete the pluralized sync temp files. Those are not needed as well. Um, while it's 
merging the events. Okay, where's this pluralized sync temp? Pluralized sync temp, and also we're gonna go ahead and just add the other events, and we're pretty much done. Uh, so that's kind of my workflow with synchronizing. Um, just double check. And last thing I do is I just add the event, uh, I mean project, into the keyword collection. And that's it. Uh, and actually, the very last step is to just open this project in Final Cut 10.4 and update it. And that's how I'll upgrade. And I never have issues with upgrading to 10.4 from 10.3, especially if it's a new project and you haven't done any edits. Um, so that's that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave your comments underneath the video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.